In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the flood concept out of the gun type formation to be able to attack man and zone coverages. Also going to do decent against match as well. If you want to get my entire gun type offensive ebook, make sure to join my Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. If you want to check that out, there's going to be a link in the description. But let's go ahead and talk about this. I believe that every offense needs five things, right? I believe you need to have a power play. We talked about that the other day with the PA cross play. We're in the Washington playbook. Uh, we talked about that the other day with the PA cross and really the shallow cross style of passing concept. And then today we're going to talk about the second thing that I think you need in any effective offense, and that is a counter play. Now, this scheme is actually meant to be ran through audibly to it. What we're seeing right now in the meta and Madden is that basically what I think a lot of people are finding out is really effective is you come out in one formation, you audible to your secondary formation, and it allows you to quick step before your opponent can adjust their defense. So we're actually going to be coming out in gun bunch, but we're going to be audibling over here to the play bench out of the gun type formation. Now bench is going to enable us to create flooding concepts. Really the flood concept that I want to talk to you about today is a right side uh, style flood concept. So we're show you that real quick so what we're going to do is we're just going to go over two clicks audible to bench you see it's very minimal movement and the setup is we're going to streak our right side receiver we're going to put our running back on an out route we're going to put our slot receiver on an out route and then this receiver we have a little bit of variation with you could put him on a curl you could put him on a uh, slot apprentice post route you could put him on a smart routed in route any of those things are fine if you put him on a, a, a post route or even a smart routed in route i do recommend motioning him to the left side. Now, ideally, you want to run this play on the right hash mark. And what you're going to see against man coverage is these corner routes are super effective from Gun Titan. I got KO abilities, everything that I would need uh, to stop this. And you're going to notice that even with inside shade, these uh, these corner routes are actually pretty good. Now, another thing that I want to recommend here is don't sleep on this out route to the left side, especially against man coverage. If you have a, a route, good route running receiver and he lights up like that, uh, now you gotta get out there a little bit more. But if he lights up on that route uh, and he can get some space, that route can actually be really, really, really good. Now, you don't have to motion Debo Samuel out. I do think it does create a little bit of a congestion in the concept, but it is better for man if you don't motion him out because you see right there, now my out route becomes significantly more effective. Now, one of the main reasons that I really like this play specifically against zone coverage is because it attacks a part of the field that is really difficult to user. And so when you run this, you want to be to the right hash because what you're going to notice here is when I run this zone beater, you're going to see that this uh, streak is going to clear out zones as long as he is on the short side of the field. If we were on the other hash mark, then you would want to basically flip everything that I just told you. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say that we were on the left hash mark. The beauty of bench is it's a symmetrical play. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to bench. Now we're going to streak the left side receiver. We're going to out route the tight end. We're going to in route the running back. And we're going to take CeeDee Lamb and put him on the smart routed in or the post route and motion him outside. Now what you're going to see here is we're able to uh, not only beat man, but we're also able to beat zone. I don't know why Calvin runs out so bad, but if you get a guy there, I mean, you're going to be fine with short and elite uh, with that route. Overall, it will work. Sometimes there's fluke and Madden, of course, but you know, by and large, this has been a really good concept all year. Now, this is also really good for match. I'm going to talk about match here for just a second in, in, in just a second. But what you're going to see here, you see there, there's cover four, cover three, any of that stuff. You're going to be able to, you're going to be able to beat it. So you're going to be able to beat cover three. You're going to be able to beat cover two. You're going to be able to beat cover four uh, with this play, just simply with this flood concept this year. This flood concept is really effective against both man and zone coverage this year. Um, one other thing you could really do real quick also is you could take taste some hill uh your tight end and put him on a drag but generally speaking the concept is really designed to be ran like this and then what you're going to notice is against cover two you just want to highball that up and over the top of that cloud flat and as you can see it's going to be very difficult for the defense to be able to defend it now if they do get if you do get match coverage um i really like this other side better than the uh, than the first side so you'll see here that if i run this concept to the right side against match it doesn't matter which hash mark i'm on it's going to play basically the same but what you're going to notice here is that this right side is going to be defended actually fairly well in match now what you saw right there is one of the things that's kind of interesting against match is sometimes i will say you can get this really glitchy um kind of natural pick and rub if you will on the match players um if you watch here I'll show it to you again. So again, if they go to match, sometimes match this year just kind of dumbs out. And what you can see is this circle receiver. Uh, see how he gets bumped there? 
Normally that guy's supposed to get on top of him, but every now and then he'll get bumped and that could actually be a big play. But by and large, Match is going to handle that left side because Match, when it's to the running back side in compression sets, it's just going to play like it is against Bunch, right? It's going to have that box check. So the best way to run this concept specifically against Match, especially if you're going to run, run it uh, to that right side, is you're going to want to motion this guy out. And then a lot of times you can either get that streak up and over the top or you can hit the corner route. But the easier alternative against match when you're running the sale concept is really to just run this play to the left because the rules work significantly different when you run this to the left versus the right. And we do have other plays in the tight formation that are going to bomb match. Uh, but this play right here, if you know or if you don't know, you know, and you think you might be able to get some match, you can throw that corner out to the left and you see that the principles are going to play uh, significantly different. So the sale concept, in my opinion, is really good against a lot of different things that your opponent can do. Um, and, and really, like I said, you want to be running it ideally with, you know, your your clear out route for your flood concept to the short side of the field. Um, I think it's super helpful to do that. Now, the other thing that I did want to talk about real quick is the beauty of this concept on the back side of this. So the beauty of this concept on the back side of this specifically, especially against man coverage, um, is let's say your corner route doesn't win. Let's say that your corner route, uh, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work, it doesn't win. Number one, you have that out route to the left side, but you also have this dig that is pretty good. You're going to get natural picks and rubs, and as you can see, that dig is going to be pretty good coming over the middle of the field. Gun tight is a super effective offense. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about the third thing that I believe is really important in Madden in any offense is to have constraint theory plays. These are plays that are designed to beat specific coverages right a cover a zone beater a man beater a match beater a blitz beater right but you have to kind of start i think the hallmark of any offense is to have a power play and a counter play what are those for you and then from there you get into kind of some of the more constraint stuff to ensure that you're living in a perfect world then we'll get into a three-headed rushing attack and we'll finish up the week with a red zone little mini scheme out of the gun tight if you want to learn more about this offense make sure that you join the patreon the links in the description 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there all the ebooks, all the updates, including all of our gun tight stuff. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.